Hey guys, it's Julie today. I'm here with Mike Briggs, Briggs Mechanical. Mike, when it's cold out, people are thinking heating systems. When it's warm out, they're thinking AC. But I think one of the biggest things is people don't realize is, you know, we're, we're getting ready for summer. AC maintenance, heating system maintenance, what's the time of year for each of them? What do we need to be aware of? Um, even if you're not selling a house, but just regular homeowner maintenance for those types of systems. Current maintenance on, on HVAC systems is critical. A lot of people kind of forget about it. They do their air filter and they think that's enough. But just like your car, you have oil changes, you have certain things. Um, AC maintenance is critical in the springtime because we want to make sure that we're getting those coils inside clean. Um, when you have air conditioning and you have moisture in the system because we're removing that moisture out of the house, right. it's go getting on the coil and getting in the drain pans. But we want to make sure that we're cleaning those pans really clean because we don't want any op opportunity for mold to develop right. or stuff like yeah. that. So okay. we want to make sure that not just the, the refrigerant charges and stuff like that, but we want to make sure we're checking the controls, but we're also cleaning those coils to get them okay. really clean. Central air conditioning systems are not refrigerators. They're not made to go to 60 degrees inside the house. Um, a good temperature, I say don't drop it below 68 degrees. You want to keep it around 70, 72 degrees. If you find yourself turning it down, there's a good chance your system's probably oversized. Okay. And what happens is, is when a system is very oversized for a house, it's going to come on very quickly and it's going to flash cool that air and it's going to shut off, but it's not going to run long enough to dehumidify. Okay. See, we want longer run times for the air conditioning systems so we can have that opportunity to get that moisture out of the air because once you control moisture, controlling temperature is very easy. So one of the things, you know, if someone has forced air systems, then oftentimes that's when they put in the traditional AC. Um, if someone's feeling like the setup of their house or the added space isn't there, a split system is also an option, Absolutely. correct? And, and what are your thoughts, pros and cons? There, of that? There's many different that? systems out there that can be, you know, that can work applicable in any household. So, really, what we need to do is get out there and get a full evaluation of what okay. what the house needs. You know, a lot of my questions revolve around what kind of heating you have in your house because that can direct us in what is the best system going to be for your house. Uh, ductless splits are very popular now for oil and electric heat only customers or propane customers because the efficiency rating of those ductless split type units are gonna, is going to be. Far are superior than the oil or propane needs. So we're gonna cut those energy costs right down really fast. Okay. So another thing that goes along with that right now is MassSave and the Mass CEC. Those are the two largest rebate companies in the state. They are driving their rebates and their rebate dollars towards that type of a product line because it's so efficient. Okay. And what people find out that is if we can size and design that system for their house effectively, uh, they're gonna be super comfortable, super dry, you know, we're always talking about central air and, and whether or not, you know, that will improve the value of your house. Well, if you ask me a, a 90 degree day in July, well, it has to have it, right? But what a lot of people don't realize is it's not just the money to put into your house of, of whether or not you'll get that back. A lot of houses, depending on the price range, will determine what's the most common type of system that's expected, right? Um, typically, if you're in an older colonial, it may not be there, but if you cert hit a certain price point in certain towns, it is expected. So if we're looking at a value analysis of the best bang for your buck to get back in the market, then we can certainly team up with Mike to say, this is the best system we could get in there to achieve your best return on the market. So if you have questions on how Central Air will affect not only your budget, your home, or your market value, let us know how we can help.